Hi, welcome. Um, today I'm going to look at um, a location's temperature and I'm going to put that into a graph. So you can choose any location in the world. I'm going to choose my um, home location, Brisbane. I'm going to look at the local temperature there. So you can just Google any temperature. You're mainly looking for hourly temperature. So this is approximately 24 hours ago, starting at Thursday, 9 o'clock. So why would you do this? Great question to ask. Why would we actually take these temperatures, put them into a graph? You could use this to predict what the next 24 hours temperature is using this graph. So I'm going to use the TI Inspire calculator to do this. So hopefully you have a calculator like this. If you don't have a calculator like this, you can just use Excel. Um, I'm not sure if Excel does the specific function regression analysis. So you may have to use Desmos or GeoGebra. So if you're using the TI Inspire, we're going to start a new list or spreadsheet. I'm going to put in the hours and the temperature. So hours is H and the temperature is T. So the first hour is zero, all the way up to, I'm going to go to 12. So you can click that little dot in the bottom right corner and drag. And do the first 12 hours. Okay, now I'm going to manually input all of these temperatures in. So on this page, the temperature is the red number. So the first hour, the temperature was 14.9. And so on and so forth. Putting in all the temperatures. Alrighty, so I've put in the first 12 temperatures for the first 12 hours. Obviously, if you put in more hours, you might get a more accurate graph. In this calculator, you're going to have to create a new page and do data and statistics. You're going to have to create your Y value, or in this case, it's the temperature. You're going to have to pick your X value, which in this case is the hour. So 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, etc., all the way back to um, 9 o'clock so it's or 9 p.m. so if this is 9 a.m. anyway so we've got it looks sinusoidal so I'm going to go menu analyze regression analysis and pick sinusoidal and you can see that it's got um, or it's kind of tried to match those dots to a sine graph. So I could use this um, new function that I've found to determine um, you know, the, the temperature at the next time period. So if it finished at you know, 8 p.m., I could predict the temperature at 11 p.m. or something like that.